Okay, you can proceed now. What's up, guys? Team Talks Podcast here. Trick It and Noobs here today. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, TV reunion getting canceled by uh, Fresh TV or uh, more so popcorn media. Uh, just going to give our quick thoughts. Uh, we're not going to do anything too major today. Um, basic uh, background, if you weren't aware, if you were living under a rock or you weren't following any of the TV channels. A TV reunion, a famous or yeah, famous uh, fan, fan animation done by Blue Productions. Uh, recently got uh, basically a cease and des- desist order from Popcorn Media, which owns Fresh TV. Uh, it, mainly, bec- mainly because they, uh, the reunion got about, it was like, what, number one on trending. It was pretty high on trending, got a million views. Basically, got too famous for its own good. Blue got cease and desist, and now everyone's attacking Fresh TV when it's really popcorn media who uh, uh, le- released the cease and desist on Blue. Fresh TV, Christian Potenza, and all of them really had nothing to do with it. That's basic background. Uh, Noobs, you want to give your thoughts on it? Yeah, it seems, it seems to be just a big controversy. It just gets kind of bigger every day, especially with the recent video that Christian Potenza just put out. It only exactly. seemed to, like, it seemed to be some way of them trying to relegate the controversy, but it only seemed to get worse, showing by the dislike-to-like ratio on that video in the comment section. So, yeah. the outrage is definitely visible in the community. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, no, Noah even came out with one day and told Drama retired for it. But, yeah. But, uh, he, in detail this video, Chris Portent's a terrible response. I have yet, I haven't watched it yet, I mean... It's 25 minutes. I don't think I need to watch it. But, yeah. <laughs> but actually, yeah, no. talking about Noah, he actually took down both the videos on Reunion, and he was called out by a few people for doing the opposite of what Blue said, I believe, which was kind of like, you know, talk about it in a bad light and kind of instigate, I guess. I don't really remember exactly what the video entailed, but he did take both of them down. Yeah. No, uh, I don't think. I think is Pretenza the only one that's responded. That's it's, like part of the OG told drama. Yeah, I think it's just him. I could be mistaken. Like maybe someone else could have responded, but the only one who made a video response, to my knowledge, is Pretenza. Yeah, I think Pretenza's the only. Yeah, and with all the fans sending a death threat to like Regulus, Pretenza, and all of them. Kind yeah, of stupid. Like it's dumb. What? Like, come on, guys. Like, get, get your shit together. Like, like, I know it's, there's a right to be angry, but there's definitely room for being, like, sensible about the decision of to send death threats to right. people. And, like, if you're going to send death threats, send it to the right people. <laughs> At least, right? Like, <laughs> some people just hear Fresh TV, and they're just like, all right, going to go to Tom McGillis. And it's mm-hmm. like, come on, man. Yeah, no. But, yeah, no, it was uh, Pop for Me that owns Fresh TV now, I believe, now. Yeah. So, like, uh, I mean, like, <laughs> like you, and, like, if you looked at the uh, email that uh, which Pop for Me sent to Blue, uh, it, it was worded in a way where I was like, oh, yeah, Total Draw is going to come out with something new. We're, we're working on something. But I think, I mean, I'm, I'm the pessimistic one. I'm going to be the one that's going to be like, oh, no, it's just, it's just in my opinion, I think it's just going to be a drama-rama thing. But if you look behind the scenes, they've got drama-rama and total drama with just two different clients. So, I mean, there could be something there, or they just could be just be being bitches about it. Yeah, like, I've seen a lot of people, because when that post came out, I saw people on Reddit or people on Discord immediately jump to the conclusion that, oh, this is a new season being suddenly hinted, and I'm like, well, it, it really doesn't probably mean that, considering the fact that Drama Rama is their major priority right now. I mean, they even have yeah. already confirmed two new characters from two different seasons have been babyified, I guess. Yeah. I haven't, I don't watch Drama Rama, but I mean, if it makes some money, good for them. Yeah. Like, the one thing is, though, like, Reunion showed that there is a fan base that they're, they're and like that was without like all major marketing or whatever that Fresh TV and Top for Me and all of them would have. Blue was just going around Discord and Reddit and his YouTube channel and promoting it and all and like all yeah. those things were kind of linked. So like it was the same people who was telling about it. 
So it's like the only reason it got so big as it was is that some drama, total drama, is still a product people want and and people want to see again because it's such a it, just all that were in their teens and their twenties now they still remember it fondly. It is just. I feel like I think there is money to be made there, but I don't think I just don't think they're willing. I think they want it to die. I think that's why Probably. they did it. I mean, I see like amongst the people who aren't exactly going after them. I see most people's problem with the whole issue is that they did this after it blew up and didn't stop it before it got so far into production to the yeah. point where there was a first episode, which well, I can't agree with. Getting, the teasers were getting 200k, 300k, like a lot of views too. Yeah, it blew up very quickly, which is great for Blue. Happy for all of the team's efforts paying off tremendously in just a few days. But just the timing of it was just so off because they just immediately went after them after like two days, was it? Three? It was yeah. a couple of days. It wasn't that long. Yeah. Well, like, they really was, just uh, led them on. Yeah. Well, the other thing too is, right, like everyone's like, well, you shouldn't have monetized it. They would have loved that. It was like, he negotiated to get it not monetized, to demonetize it and you just still do his stuff. He'll do it for free, basically. And people, and they still said no. Like, yeah. If he did, if he demonetized before and he got as big as it did, I'm pretty sure they'd still say, no, fuck you. You can't do that. Yeah. I mean, Blue obviously would have, like, understood very well that they could do this, even if it's not the best option. But a lot of people just immediately said, well, if he didn't monetize it, why do they care? And then it just gets some more discourse, which is. What yeah. this fandom is turning into, but you know, yeah, it is. I mean, my thoughts overall, and it's like I've been saying, just because it's legal doesn't mean you should do it. Just because you should have, you can have an affair, it's legal doesn't mean you should do it, right? Yeah. The one reason there's only two reasons I see for why they would do this is a they wanted to just die for whatever reason, or b uh. They ha- they actually do have something new coming that isn't drama rama, and they don't want reunion to pull away from them, which I highly doubt. I'm pretty sure it's more like an A, and they just want the old OG total drama to die. But yeah. that's it's just me. I mean, from how Christian pretends to word his response in his video, he said as if you know he just immediately was to the point where total drama the original series is just gone, but you should focus on drama rama, and he very much said it in a positive light, which just means he probably wants to promote it, which is why that video had that section in it where he was just talking about total drama. And yeah. it just kind of shows the priorities of them are just the show itself and not going back to the original or ridiculous race or anything like that. Yeah. But what's your I... thoughts on other animated type projects that are still on YouTube? Like, what was it, Gone Wild, and I guess Osaki I think only got one thing. I, I watched a bit of Gone Wild. I think production could be a tad better, but I mean, it's, it's a fan project. Like, it's yeah. going to be what it is. Osaki, uh, what is there not to say about that one? But art is good, writing, put it bluntly, it's terrible. But I think it can be improved. But just mm-hmm. overall, it's just, eh, at this point... I mean, honestly, I see a lot of people get scared of this thing because they don't know where the line draws between fan projects and, like, fan art and fan fiction, yeah. even. And, uh, Popcorn Media basically just did the same thing. Yeah, Popcorn I Media mean, is just immediately going to go after anything that got that big. But I don't understand why what they didn't do is if, uh, I know you can copyright claim things, and the video could stay up, but the uh, company who copyright claims, it gets the money from it. Yeah. I don't know why they just didn't do that. Maybe they, they the just didn't want, they didn't want to have any, like, foreboding issues coming from it, like, people, I, it seems as though they just don't want it to exist at all, because they yeah. don't want to have it associated with them for whatever reason. Yeah, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, but then again, I don't I'm, not a, I'm not a corporate lawyer. Yeah, me neither, but from what we can infer, they just don't want it to be taking any attention from them, or they just don't want it to exist because 
problems that we don't really know about too much. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's just at this point, it's, uh, I mean, I messaged Blue. He hasn't gotten back. But I offered, hey, why don't you just put this into a fan fiction form and then have it finished at least so the fans can at least get closure. Mm-hmm. You can't do a animated version. Uh, I offered him that. Otherwise, I guess just maybe just tell everyone, hey, this whole what's going to happen. Just leave it be at this point. Yeah, I don't see a I'm, clear I'm sure... road that keeps the same format they kept with the animations and everything, the voice acting. Yeah. It just doesn't seem plausible. I mean, good, good for Blue. His channel blew up basically. Yeah, he's he's got he's gonna have avenues. He's talented. He'll be. I think. I think even though this sucks for the fans, this is great for Blue. So I think we should all be happy for. Yeah. Like, yeah, the season this is sucks, but he his channel grew, blew up, and so he'll have uh, at least a bit more help uh, getting uh, what he wants done done, maybe even faster. I'm sure yeah. Can I add something real quick? What's up, Connor? So, the Sorry. one thing that I really liked about Christian Matenza's video on this was, and basically what you just said, Blue was able to, now was it because it was popular, or was it because it was good and popular? Either way, it was able to get the attention of popcorn media and, and fresh TV here. For, as Christian Matenza put it, a guy in his basement. That's not something to laugh about, yeah. but, which is really good for Blue. This guy, it Blue, I remember him saying in his server he wanted to do other shows from his childhood. Maybe if there's not a copyright claim on that, great for Blue. Another thing, I honestly the other people could, that worked on this project. I think he could do like Clone High or like 16. He or can like capitalize of off of this just from showing people a little bit of taste of what he's capable of. He easily can. He's so talented. The other people that benefit from this too, the, the aspiring voice actors possibly, it's been re-uploaded on YouTube, and that I don't know if those are going to get taken yeah. down. Maybe, maybe not. But again, that's think, something to add to I your reel. I guess they will because they won't be as big. Probably don't care. They probably would just if they see it, they're just going to be like, "Oh, they did it again." Whatever. I think if they got rid of Blues because it was big, but the re-uploads won't get as big. I don't think so. I don't think probably. They care. But, at least Blue. Can like at least Blue is just trying to maintain a positive relationship with the company and the community because he seemed he made a few posts on good YouTube guy, trying to like yeah he's trying he's trying he's a good guy he deserves yeah. he deserves everything great that's gonna come to him I think I mean mm-hmm. I watched a video recently I forget it was like the old a video game hunt on the Freeman the guy that made it it was a complete disaster but the guy who made it managed to get like a like really good high position at like EA. Electronic Arts, and he's doing great right now, even though he made a shit game that everyone hated. So, like, this is a different situation where Blue made a great thing and basically being taken down because the company is wanting a show to die. But I think, I'm surprised they just didn't hire him as an animator, honestly. Like, I don't know what they're I mean, th- looking at the episode itself, it looked very faithful to the original. It didn't Seemed yeah. choppy at most points. It felt fluid For enough. One to... guy, it was really fucking good. Yeah. So, like, like what was your don't... thoughts overall on the episode, though? It was good. It was I definitely thought... there to develop was... more things. I like their faithfulness to just a lot of references and just different types of characterizations of the older forms of the characters. It was yeah. Nice. For me, it was just a had slow but i mean so that's i mean that's the first episode it's always going to be a bit slow yeah i mean voice acting was pretty good i know people weren't a big fan of lashana's but i think lashana's voice actor was spot on but just wasn't loud yeah yeah i mean yeah you can complain about the audio but it's like they're not getting paid for this you're not gonna have studio quality mics like i don't know what what you want from this This as it has mics at all and they have voices at all it's just stunning yeah, I know. He wasn't even planning on it. That voice is like this. What he wasn't gonna. He was gonna make a still motion thing. It wasn't gonna be as greatly animated as it was. There wasn't gonna be voice actor. There wasn't gonna be any of that. And he managed to get it, and it was great. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know what there else is to say at this point. I think Blue's going in the right direction. Yeah. Reunion. I don't think it'll die, but I think it it won't go quietly. 
if they're gonna hate on something, hate on popcorn meat. It. Again, you know, it was totally legal, and um, we just hope for yeah the best for Blue and you know the future of him. Don't hate on Tom Fresh TV. Don't send any of those death threats. Like fandom, stop being a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, and with that, this, and with that disclaimer, this will be tricky and move signing off in a. Phil me and Connor decide to show up today. Uh, it's TD Talks out. We'll see you next time. Adios.